Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am The Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping in Scents. So I'm doing a rare uh, film from my car video and it's a hot and sweaty evening or late afternoon in New York. So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I wanted to share it with you now as soon as I got out of the store because I am going to be doing doing a festival event tomorrow um, and I'm going to be out in the sun for the majority of the day and in the heat and I needed some supplies. I have sunscreen and all that other stuff home but I did need a couple of things from the Dollar Tree and I know I'm just going to get home too late tonight to film this and be up too early tomorrow to show it to you so I'm showing it to you now so you can get some ideas of things you can get to at the Dollar Tree if you're going hiking or you're going to a concert or you're going to be outdoors in the summer um yeah okay so the first thing that I needed is this really really big bottle of water this is crystal geyser water this is a gallon of water and the reason that I bought this is um, I bought and I'm gonna be doing a review of a hydration backpack which is a backpack a regular backpack that comes with an insulated pocket and what they call a water bladder so basically a vinyl plasticky <clears throat> it looks like um an IV bag almost uh, and it goes in the backpack and it's um, it has it the one that I got is BPA free and all that other stuff and it has a hose that goes from the insulated pouch that has the bladder in it to a hose that clips to the side of you and you drink the water out of it so I know that I'm not going to be close to water and I know I'm gonna be sweating and dehydrated, so I especially bought this backpack, like I said, that I'm gonna be doing the review of um, after I use it tomorrow. But I need to fill it up with water, and I didn't wanna use water from the sink, so I got a gallon of Crystal Geyser water for the backpack. Now, the other reason that I went into the Dollar Tree is for this, which I had to do some searching to find this. Um, if you're looking for it, it's in the salad dressing aisle. It was buried pretty low. Um, this is white distilled vinegar. This says old world flavor, 1905 white distilled vinegar. And the reason that I bought this is because I looked at some videos online. And of course, like I just ordered this backpack with the, the plastic pouch in it from a company. So I have to obviously clean it. I'm not just going to use it without cleaning it. So people recommend before using it and also after using it to prevent mold or whatever from collecting inside that little plastic pouch as it dries out, as you rinse it out, to rinse it with water and just some white distilled vinegar, not soap. So yeah, and the reviews on the backpack, and I'm, I'm talking more about that than the Dollar Tree, forgive me, but the reviews and stuff said that the pouch can make the water taste funny or something so I don't know if that person did not rinse it out before they used it but anyway I needed white vinegar and I needed water those were the two essentials and then the other stuff that I bought at the Dollar Tree stuff that I kind of needed but didn't need I needed some snacks okay so I'll be outdoors there's gonna be food eventually but I'm gonna need snacks oh wait before I get to the snacks I got an extra bottle of water which my friend told me my friend who wore the backpack the hydration backpack last year to this event and that's how I found out about it I showed her the one that I got and she was like you are gonna have like a gallon of water on your back you really don't need to bring any more water then that's gonna be sufficient but the backpack has little pouches on the side and I said to myself you know what let me see how heavy it is in the morning and if it's not too heavy, then I'll freeze this bottle of water and put it in the side there. And it has this cute little design. It's like little cranes. And they have all different designs. And so this is the Life Water brand. And this is purified water, pH balance, electrolytes for taste. Um, and it's a series 7.1 art through technology, art by Sarah Luddy. Um, and then this is 23.7 fluid ounces, if anybody cares. So I picked that up. I needed snacks. So I don't know which one of these I'm gonna bring or if I'm just gonna bring one of each or what. So I got these um, fruit grain bars. They're kind of like 
bootleg Nutrigrain bars and strawberry. Um, they're, how many are in here? Four cereal bars. Um, I know these are going to get smushed in the backpack, but whatever. So I picked that up. And then I got these pastry crisps in mixed berry. Um, there are eight pastry crisps, two per pouch. So we'll see how that is. And this is by the Sun Best brand. I've never heard of them before. And this one is by Flavor Kissed. I don't know. Okay. Running out of room. Um, and then I got these. Like I said, I'm not bringing all of them. I'm just, maybe I'll bring one packet of each, you know. Um, so there's these breakfast biscuits. And I got this in blueberry. These don't have that much sugar in them. These only have 6.5 sugars per one pack. And there are six packs. I don't know how many is in a pack. One per pack. That seems a little cheap. And this is from the Sobisque brand. It says the taste of good health. That doesn't seem too healthy to me. But anyway, breakfast biscuits and blueberry. And then something completely, totally unhealthy for me today. Uh, I've been on a chocolate kick, and I know, yes, I am diabetic, but it is, and I know, I'm um, TMI, it is the woman time of the month, so, sorry men, but I needed chocolate. Every day, I need chocolate during that whole situation. So, I got some of the, I've been eating raisinets, and then, you know what I love? That's my favorite, but it's so hard to find. And I found it at a gas station near my house. Kit Kat Dark. And I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but I love Kit Kat Dark. I tried it at, I was at some event and they had the miniatures. And I tried it and loved it and then couldn't find it again. And finally this one gas station had it. Everybody carries Kit Kat White but and regular Kit Kat, but not Kit Kat Dark. So, but anyway, I needed to have some chocolate on hand for headaches and cramps. So I just picked up some Mr. Good Bar. They say you shouldn't shop when you're hungry or whatever, so that's probably true. Um, then, oh, okay, so you guys will remember this from a previous haul. I found another one. I was only able to find one. So I have one home and I have this extra one. Um, and that is this mason jar that says road trip fund. I love this. It's so cute. So maybe I'll give one to the bad enabler if I'm feeling like sharing. I don't think I feel like sharing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, I love these. I wish they had different sayings, but both of them that I found said road trip fund. So yeah, I, you know, that's the bad thing about the Dollar Tree. You think you're saving money, but then you go in there and you end up buying, like, I really only needed two things. Well, no, I needed three things. I needed the water, the vinegar, and the snacks. So really, I only needed to spend $3. But of course, I ended up spending way more. So I have this other bag of stuff. Okay. These I did actually need. I got two packages of washcloths. These, there are two each. They are 100% cotton. These are gray from the home collection. When I have guests over, they asked me for washcloths. I don't know why. Like I have a towel, I have towels in the bathroom to dry your hands and I use loofah. I guess that's the reason. Because they don't want to use my loofah. Which I give, I would give them a new loofah. But they don't want the loofah. They want a washcloth. So whatever. I guess that's, I guess it's easier to have washcloths that you can wash. <coughs> that, you, <coughs> so, that you can wash and rewash rather than having to give your guests a new loofah every time you have a guest over. So <clears throat> I got one pack to keep it home for guests and I got another pack which I'm going to use at home too but I know I'm going to be sweating tomorrow so I know I'm going to need a towel to dry my face and I don't want to use a white towel so I got these gray towels. They didn't have much of a selection. It was either gray or brown. So I opted for the gray. Then I got this wall art. I don't even have room in my apartment, my new apartment, to hang the wall art that I have. 
so I don't know this I just really like this I don't know why but I just have to have it and I'll find some place to put it so it's a leaf with this gold foil and I like it because if you just look at it like just glance at it as you're passing by you don't know what's a leaf you have to look at it again and then you're like oh it's a leaf and it's pretty so I don't know I bought uh, another wall art some time ago with a peacock on it that I had the same inspiration about that it was going to be on my wall and I still haven't hung it up and I have another one that says Route 66 on it that I have not hung up so hopefully this will not fall into the the bin of disregard but we'll see man I needed some wet wipes I have wet wipes at home that I could use for tomorrow but then I won't have wet wipes after that so first I saw these and I've bought these before in the travel size these are the assured antibacterial wet wipes hand and face moisturizing towelettes now the thing that I don't like about these is that they dry out um, not that they dry out your hands I mean like when even if you seal them this part here if you don't use them within a certain amount of time they dry out so I figure for a dollar for to use them for tomorrow is fine and then I saw this other one and I was like well this one has a better closure on it and these are scented maybe I'll use these tomorrow but these are okay these are antibacterial wet wipes and they have the little thing right but these say personal care so they keep this with the femi items like the woman the woman items and then it says refreshing waterfall so that gave me Ugh, this is why I don't film in my car did you hear that so anyway that would be good if I was like cursing and that was like you know natural censoring in the background the beeping anyway see these say these say 40 pre moistened antibacterial wipes and these are 40 right but these say refreshing waterfall so I'm like I want to try them out tonight try one out tonight. Not, that, not that it matters but I know these are gonna be unscented and these are gonna sell as refreshing waterfall and they say personal care on them and I'm like I don't want it to, I I don't want it to smell like a product that people will smell it and know that it's supposed to be a Femi product for cleaning delicate areas you know what I'm saying like it, it'll have just like like a baby wipe smell to it which I don't like um, so I got two packages of wipes we'll see how they are I got this this is a repeat buy for me I love this shave gel it works excellent um, it's men's but it, it just it works perfect for women especially you know for those sensitive areas this is Assured Smooth Glide Shave Gel. It says sensitive skin, aloe enriched, moisturizes and protects against razor burn. This stuff is excellent. Bought it a bunch of times, will continue to buy it. I just wish it came in a bigger can. Um, yeah, because this is only how many ounces? Five, five ounces, so that's not very much. Getting to the end here almost. Then I saw this and I was like, this looks interesting. I wanna try this. So this is Shave Gel for Men. Right, it's almost like hair gel, it's blue. Just like the other one, this is blue, see it's blue. Um, so I wanted to try this and see how it is. It says, personal care for men, compare to Gillette shave gel. Shave gel for men, enriched with aloe and vitamin E, easy glide formula, clear shave gel, close, comfortable shave, fights, razor bumps. And this is seven ounces, so this has a little more in it. Um, I, I just wanna see how it is. So I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know how it is. Then I picked up two of these back to school type items, which I don't know how, what I'm going to use them for, but so this, this, my favorite color is purple. So this is an organizer file. So it's a folder, which I like, right? But then it has these people looking at me like I'm crazy. It has these, it has these see-through pockets and it's got about three of them. One, two, three. Right, so it's these three, these three pockets, these three file pockets, and then they have one 
three file pages, I should say, and they have a pocket on either side. So I, I just thought that was so different. Like I hadn't seen that before and I really like the color and I'll find some use for it. So yeah, this is why you should not shop at the Dollar Tree. You get, you get, you know what it is? You get drunk with power. That's what it is. Cause you, it's the only store that you can go into where you can literally buy anything the one item you can literally b afford to buy any one item in the store so you just get drunk with power anyway and then these it shows the little plasticky things through the through that little see-through area there so it's kind of like holographic anyway and then the last thing that i picked up which if this was total impulse but i don't know what i'm gonna do with this it's uh i don't coupon so i i don't know what i'm gonna use this for this is a file folder six pockets it's in this bubblegum pink, which I really like. Um, yeah, so I will have to find a use for it. And I will let you know what that use is once I find it. Uh, and it has little tabs. It has little tabs. Um, oh, then it has stickers. I thought these were like the... I thought these were the ones that you have to slide through the tabs and I was like that's silly because they don't have a little hole to slide them through but these are like little stickers for the tabs so I, I don't know I'll figure something out so I spent $18 in the Dollar Tree when I really should have only spent let's say just the water the vinegar two packs of snacks and a thing of wet wipes I should have really only spent $5 and I ended up spending $18 so but most of this stuff I can use right away. Like, I mean, the shave gel I'm definitely going to use. I know I'm running low on that. Um, and the, the wet wipes I'll definitely use. I just want to see how femi these are. And these, like I said, if you maybe I'll just use these tomorrow because I'll use, I'll probably use them all in one day because I'm going to be out in the dirt and the outdoors and I know I'm going to be using wipes so I won't have to worry about them drying out. And the leaf, the leaf will go somewhere. Well, you'll, you'll see if I do an apartment tour, you'll see if the leaf gets hung up or gets hung out to dry. Um, yeah, so I got that and then, ooh, that was a real close up of, of all my face imperfections. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and then this, this crystal geyser crap. Okay, so I hope that my day turns out okay tomorrow. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to do a review of that water hydration backpack that I got from Amazon. Um, it was $35.99, I think. I could have got it cheaper because the it came in different colors and the black was cheaper. It was $29.99, but I didn't want to wear black in the hot sun and have it beating down on me, so I was not getting black. Um, and so I got the fuchsia hot pink color, so it was a little more money, I think like the the black and the gray I think were 29 and then anything that was a color was more money I don't know but stay tuned for that review soon so I hope you enjoyed this haul uh, if you did remember to comment rate subscribe hit the little gray bell and stay tuned to my channel for more future videos until next time goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land oh I forgot to show you my nails um yeah, so if anybody's interested, this is uh, Color Wave Gel in Wild Wild West. I think that's what it's called. And the glitter is a top coat of Discotech. So, yeah. Okay, bye guys.